everybody. Here is the latest score. 81 to 83 had the split taillights on the Cutlass. And I wanted to get a set for my car instead of the, the standard one lens. And uh, I just, I got really lucky. I went to gbodyforum.com and I put in the wanted section. I was looking for a set of taillights. Because I looked all over eBay and I saw a bunch, but they were like really rough looking. And these things are beautiful. So uh, luckily somebody DM'd me and uh, started emailing a little bit. Secured the price. These babies are mine and they are in gorgeous shape. They're beautiful. Anyway, these are going on to Project 442. But because I spent way more than I really wanted to, I'm going to be honest with you. I just did. I just did. Um, but they were so good looking. They are so good looking. I just couldn't turn it down. And here's the reason why. Uh, over the last, well, last year was a dumpster fire, but over the last year and a half or so, it has been harder to find good used parts for these G-bodies. Um, people are snatching them up, and a lot of this stuff is getting crushed or thrown away in the junkyards, at least around this area. Um, I might have to start uh, shopping out west or something, I don't know. But um, I've run into this a couple of times where I've seen something online and uh, I thought, man, that really looks good. It's a nice used part. Really thought about getting it, but I'm like, oh, they just want too much money. I, I just, I, I'm not paying that much money for it. I'm not. So I pass it by, keep looking, keep looking, a month or so goes by and um, I find something that looks worse than the one I was looking at and they want close to the same money. And uh, I've had a couple of times now where I've gone back and looked for the one that I saw the first time, of course it's sold, and I would have gladly paid that money to get a hold of that one. So I've had too many of those slip through my fingers that uh, when this came up, I said to myself, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass this by and I'm going to find a set that looks worse for almost the same money and I'm going to beg to have that price again in those taillights. So I just wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. So it was like I said, it was more than I planned on spending. But man, these things look mint. They're perfect. Anyway, so what I plan to do to offset my cost is to take the 87 taillights that came on my car, clean them up, make them look pretty, and I'm going to put those for sale on G-Body Forum. And then if they don't sell there, I'll go to eBay or, or wherever. Uh, and I'll sell them that way and try to recoup some of the money that I spent. So that's how I'm going to try to get through this uh, and um, not have it hit my wallet so hard. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to put these away. I'm going to wrap them in bubble wrap and put them somewhere where they can't get hurt. And uh, I'll bring up my 87 lights and we'll take those apart. And I'll show you what I'm going to do to clean those up. So hang tight and we'll go through cleaning up the tail lights on the car and you judge uh, how good they look before and after. So let me get my stuff, be right back. So here we have them up on the bench. These are the original tail lights out of the 87 and uh, you can see both of the centers are out. The uh, chrome backs have little push pins in them and they just fit into the recesses and kind of push in place. I think what I'm going to do is when I clean these up and I sell them, I'm going to leave, I'm just going to send them loose like this. I'm not going to put them back in because these are worn out. <laughs> they need to be replaced if you really want to have a nice set. And G-Body uh, Parts has them. So I'm just going to leave them loose. And that way, if uh, somebody gets them and they have an uh, 84, 85, they can get the silver and chrome, or the silver and black. And then if they've got the 86 through 88, they can get a replacement set of the ones that are red. So that's what I'm going to do. So first, let me grab my driver here. Um, we're going to take these apart because I just want to separate the chrome, this chrome trim on the outside from the lens. 
So I'm going to try to polish the chrome. There's not a lot you can do because this is plastic. So um, Half Rod, if you've ever seen his channel, uh, he talks highly about Mother's um, mag wheel polish and how if you go real lightly with this, you can actually bring back um, some of the chrome. So I'm going to give that a shot and, and see how it works. But uh, first, let's get these apart. So I've got uh, 11 millimeter. And this could be standard because I think 7 sixteenths also fit, but the 11 millimeter was just more snug of a fit. So I'm going to stick with what works here. All right, so there's four nuts on the back. This one loose, get out of there. Where are you at? It's down in there somewhere. I'll get it when it comes apart. All right, so let's see. The way this looks, I bet this end comes up first. There, yeah, there we go. All right, so there's the chrome loose. And then now there's the just the plastic center. Oh, and my little speed nut did fall out. Put those off to the side. We'll do the same thing with the second one here. This is one at all four corners. Two to go. So I am hoping, geez, I'm gonna mess. All right, I'm hoping if I can get these cleaned up enough, I might be able to recoup back some of what I spent with the, with the split tail lights. Same thing, here's my speed nut. Put those apart, okay those up here, that here. All right, now, first things first, what I want to do is uh, clean these up. I got some purple power here. I'm just going to, I think it'd probably be better doing it this way. What I don't want to do, I could probably put this in like a, a warm water bath, but I don't want to get water down inside the back of the lens. Just, um, to me, it's not supposed to be wet, so I don't want to get it wet. So I'm just going to use a little bit of soap on a rag just to clean this up. Look at that. It's looking better just doing that. All right, now let's go see the back side. Let's get that cleaned up. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit to get some of this out, isn't it? That's okay. All right, we'll set that off to the side. We'll do the same thing with this one. Let me fold this around and try to get a clean side to it. Stuff gets quite slick. All right, so if you got a set of these and they're in dingy shape, why not, and you plan on selling them, why not, if you've got a little bit of polish, some elbow grease, why not spend a little bit of time and effort cleaning them up? Maybe you uh, double the price of what you could get for these. Because who wants, even if, even if you clean it like this, it's still... There's still some spots in here. And I'm hoping that stuff is going to come out when I polish it. Anyway, why not do put your best foot forward to try to present a good product that can make you some money. Why not, right? Okay, let's do the same thing with the chrome. We'll just go around, see if there's any surface dirt that'll just come off. This is going to take some work. These things look, they look pretty bad. Oh, it's like overspray black paint. 
What is that? Uh, when I got this car, it had like some some cheapo Earl Shy looking paint job on it, and they never took any of this stuff off. Oh, there's black. There's black paint on there. Oh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping I can get that off. That would be so much better. Oh, it looks. That's flaking off with my finger now, so maybe I'll be lucky. This is what 30 years of dirt will do. All right. Just this little bit, I can tell right away. I think these, if, if the mothers brings this chrome out at all on this plastic, I think I'm gonna be pretty good shape. I tell you what, I've seen these on eBay and uh, and other things and already this looks comparable to some of the stuff I've seen. All right, it's going to take a little bit more. Uh, all right, and now I have got, I've got some nice warm water here. So I'm just going to come back Get some of that soap residue off. Let that sit. Same thing with this. Well, while I'm doing the tedious work, I want to thank everybody for coming back and kind of joining me in on getting this project done. It's taken me a long time, but unfortunately, I can only work when the funds are there to buy the stuff I need to do, what I need to do. So keep buying them t-shirts if you're buying some. Money goes right back into the project. Helps tremendously. You'd think it wouldn't, but it does. Ah, uh, this is going to take some, it's going to take some polishing to get this out, but already, just, just wiping down all the layers of gunk that were on it, and road dirt, everything else that got on these things, they're looking so much better. One more. Yeah, I may not get them perfect. I'm going to get them better. Sometimes better is all you need to get a leg up on the other guys that he's got for sale. Maybe he didn't bother to do this. Maybe he's just one of those guys that catches them in the junkyard and puts them right on eBay. doesn't do the work. What I would love to do is send something off to somebody. Oh yeah, that paint is flicking right off. So I might be lucky. I might do a little bit of fingernail work and I might get all that out. <sighs> I was saying what I want to do is if I'm going to sell these to someone, why not give them a product they could put right on the car if they wanted to, with very little work, and actually be proud of them. That's what I want. I want to be proud of what I do. They want to be proud of what they're putting on their car. Win-win, right? And so far, what does this cost me? Nothing but time. And where else am I going to do? This makes me back a little bit. The money I spent. Those headlight, uh, taillights, sorry. 81, 83s. Those things are uh, becoming as rare as unicorns. And it was more than I wanted to pay. Uh, 
but daggone it, I can't tell you how many times in the recent past that I have said, that's too much, I'm not going to pay that. And then I keep looking and looking and I don't find, and then I go back to the pair I said I would never pay that money on, and they're gone because someone finally bought them or someone realized what I didn't realize was that, hey, you're not going to find another set, not like that. Uh, I can't tell you how many times that I've said, you know what, I'd gladly pay that money I said I wouldn't uh, to have the part that they don't make. And no one's repopping this stuff. G-Body Parts, for the longest time, uh, had uh, in their coming soon, uh, the 80, 81 to 83 split taillights. And I don't know what happened, but it just never came to be. And I uh, finally just had to bite the bullet and get them. But man, they look so good. All right. So they're all cleaned up and dried. And I don't see any major scratches or some blemishes on it. it. Looks like there is, there's a crack right there. It looks like it started on the inside I don't feel anything out here. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm just gonna have to live with that. Okay, let's do a little inspection on this one. Hmm, maybe I'm wrong. Does that line continue like this one does? Hmm. I think either these things just naturally split in the same spot or it's something on the inside molding of the light because this one has the same line in the same spot and I can see a shadow and it goes right up this way. So I can't tell. Oh, look at that. That is, I think I can get in there with something. It's like, a, it's almost like plastic casting flash. I feel it rattling around in there. I have to blow that out. No, it's, uh, it's not a crack. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a seam. It's a seam somehow in the molding on the inside. Okay. Either way, it, to me, it looks like a blemish. So I'm going to have to live with. But I'm going to try to polish these up as best I can. Here's something I want to do. All right, and this is on the set that I just got. If you look down here at the bottom, you can see that all these lights come with this DOT certification thing on it. And there it is. Really? I don't want that. So I think I want to take those off on the ones I just got. So... I think I'm going to experiment with these. I'm going to tape this off and I'm going to use some sandpaper and I'm just going to sand that lettering down until it's gone. And I want to see how that looks and see if I can polish it back with the rest of it. It's just plastic, right? You've seen my video, hopefully, on uh, the restoration I did on the rally uh, gauges that I had and the, the plastic cover that was on that. Basically the same principle. I'm going to use the same techniques um, as a matter of fact, down at the bottom, I'll leave a link to uh, that series of videos, the first one in the series. You can catch the rest from there. Um, yeah, but it's the same thing. I'm just going to sand this down till it's gone. And then I'm going to put, because uh, there's some, there's some like, surface marks. There's nothing I can feel with my finger, so it's not, it's not deep, but it, it is like a... It's almost like something dragged along it and just put like a blemish in it or something. I don't know if you can see that. It's right there. That's got to go along with, along with some marks down here. Look at this stuff. I can't. It's in the surface, so it's going to come out. I'll sand it down. But anyway, that's the plan. So let me grab uh, my materials, and then we'll come back, and we'll start doing some polish. Sanding and polishing. So we'll use a little bit of this Mother's Mag Polish. We're going to see what we can do with this plastic chrome. Now the thing is, it's plastic. It's plastic chrome. So there's only so much you can do. So once you hit a certain point, you need to know when to stop because you're just you're not going to get it any better. 
than what it is. But let's see. Let's test this little spot right here. Now this is no pressure at all. I'm literally just dragging the rag or the microfiber back and forth across the chrome just to see, let's see what we can get with this one piece. All right, let's wipe that down. Let's see what we got. Huh. That is not bad. That is not bad. Problem is, it's plastic chrome. So at some point, it is what it is. And there's only so much you can do. But that did seem to... I mean, you, there's still a little bit of... I wouldn't call it pitting. I don't know what it is. But I don't think that's going to go away. So the best I can do is just buff it to this kind of shine. And be happy. So, let me grab this back. There's my spot right here. I'm curious to see what it does. Like this spot, you can see that, that's pretty, that's pretty bad. And I don't know, I wonder if that's going to bring any of that out. Let's do a little circle right here and just see. I think once it kind of gets like that, you're just going to have to live with it. But let's see what comes out. Let's see what part of this is like some type of road debris that's caked on here and what is just... Just the way it is. All right. Barely any pressure at all. Just dragging the rag across the substrate. Wow. I'll let the polish do the work. All right. So let's buff off the residue. Let's see what we got. Buff, 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 buff. Look at that. Look at that. That's not bad. Okay. The rest of this comes out like that. I can live with that. I think someone else could live with that. Look at that. There's a little bit of reflection in there. That's good. Way better than it was. So, I know you want to sit here and watch me polish this entire thing. So I know how exciting that's going to be. But um, I will spare you from that. And um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to polish this one up. Uh, and when I'm done, I will hold it up next to this one. And we'll just take, we'll take a quick comparo. But man, look at that. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I think anyone who bought this would be happy with that. If I can get the rest of it to look like that piece I just polished. And how long did that take? It didn't take any time at all. So, I just got a little bit, a little bit of Mother's Wax, mag and aluminum polish, and a microfiber. And again, elbow grease. I think that's going to work. And I think when I'm done, uh, anybody would be happy with the chrome on this. So I'm hoping the rest of it cleans up like that part did. Look at that. That's nice. I like that. All right. I am going to shut off the camera and I'm just going to sit down someplace where I can be comfortable and I'm just going to polish and polish and polish and slowly start at one end and go all the way around and get all of this back to some semblance of goodness. All right. Like there's some spots you can see down here. I don't know if you can see that. There's like... Uh, it's, the chrome is actually flaked off in a spot. So, there's nothing to do about that. But it's on the back side, right? This is what you're going to see. You're going to see this. So, I think if I can get this part and this to look good, and then just around this corner and the border right here, that's kind of what you see when you, when you open the trunk and it opens up. You see this part right here, and you're like, ooh, looks nice. So, if I can get it like that, I'll be happy. All right, I'm shutting the camera off, and I'm going to sit down in uh, something comfortable, and I'm going to 
polish the poop out of this. So I'll be back when I'm done. How about that? All right, that didn't take too long. I just sat down and watched a nice show and did a little bit of polishing. So here is the one that I haven't done anything to. Let's see how that holds up. Let me hold that right there next to the one I just did. Oh, okay, it's 34 year old chrome and it's plastic chrome, so there's only so much I can do. But oh my goodness, there's some spots where you can see it's starting to, to pit a little bit the plastic, and it's, I can't, that's not going to polish out. All you're going to do is polish it off if you keep messing with it. But holy cow, are you kidding? That is so much better <laughs> than, than the other. I mean, that's, and this is, all this, this didn't cost me anything, but just a little bit of time. That's all that is. And look at that. I could live with that. If I had to put this back on the car, I, I, I'd be fine with that. I could completely hang with that. So anyway, that is one side done. <sighs> one more to go. That one was the worst one, so this one, I'm hoping, is going to look even better. We'll see. Just does some overspray. You can't, you can't take the time to take a couple of screws off and take the taillights out before you paint the car? Really? Oh, that annoys me because I couldn't get, I couldn't get all the overspray off of the other one, and there's just some spots, and, um... Now my thumbnail really is, is what, what kind of got that stuff off. This one is way better shape. There's like a little bit of overspray down on the bottom. I'll see if I can't scrape that off. You can catch an edge. It just kind of flakes off pretty good because this chrome just won't let it adhere. So that's not bad. But holy cow. You can't take a couple of minutes to take off some trim before you paint. This is lazy. I hate lazy work. All right. Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to go back in and finish the rest of my soda and finish watching the rest of my show. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one. And then we'll come back. And then all we got to do left is, well, tape that off. I want to get those lettering off. Let's we'll see how that works out. I want to see how that works. Okay. Um, when I come back, this one will be done too. All right. That is... The other side done, and I gotta tell you, for a 34 year old chromed plastic, I'm happy with that. Is it perfect? No. Is it gonna beat having this thing stripped and, and re chromed someplace for who knows how much? No, it's not gonna beat that. But holy cow, <laughs> from where it was, that's ridiculous. I, I'm very happy with that. And like I said, I'd put that back on my car if I had to. If I didn't have another set, I'd put this back on. That looks pretty good. I'm very impressed. Half rod. Thank you, brother. I would never have thought to try that. Um, I would have just said, you know what? It's plastic chrome. There's nothing you can do. You got to live with it the way it is. I would have washed it in uh, soap and water. And it would have looked just as ugly, uh, except clean. And I would have never tried this. And man, what a difference. So thank you, sir. If you haven't checked out Half Rod's channel, go there. That guy has a bunch of tips, tricks. He's building a beautiful 55 Chevy. And he's doing a four-door Chevy now, 55, for his wife. So, yeah, check that out. Give him a subscribe. Give me a subscribe while you're at it. Um, all right. So what I got left to do now is to tape this off, get this lettering off the bottom, sand that down flat, and then uh, do, I think, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the lens on the, um, on the Speedo cluster is uh, just the, the lightest amount of sanding. I'm just going to get these blemishes out, get all that stuff off that's sitting on the surface. It's like stuck in the plastic somehow. 
and then uh, break out the polishing wheel and then buffer back with the Trizac and then the uh, polish. I think we're going to have something. All right, uh, let me grab some of the uh, stuff I need and then we'll get started on that. <sighs> All right, back at it. This worked out so well. Dying to see what it does for this. There's the thing and tape. Let me take off the side. Let's get this stuff out. All right. Oh, is that everything? Yeah, okay. Put that out there. All right, sit down over there. This is no sense roughing up any more of this plastic than I have to. So let's just get the very edge of this. Hopefully, this doesn't go deeper than the surface. I don't know. I think even if it does, what's the worst? You see kind of a shadow of the lettering in the plastic somehow below the surface. Still better than the way it looks now, I think. All right. So. Take our pad. And again, I think I'm just going to do this by hand. Try to limit the impact on this as little as possible. Well, that was easier than I thought. I don't know what I was thinking. There you have it. All right, let's get this off. So that is... That's good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Completely gone. Now, did I ruin it? I don't think so. I think it's gonna buff out fine. Yeah, and it just got down in the letters. Oh, look at that. I didn't see that. There is letter L. Does it stay? Or does it go? Hmm. I think it goes. I think it goes. Let's see if I can just, because this is very, very light. Yeah. gone. And gone. All right. Here comes the scary part. I'm going to flatten this whole thing out with this. Get all these spots gone. Yeah, some of this stuff right here, that's got to go. See what we got. <sighs> yeah. Oh. oh, it's looking good. Okay, now we get serious. Get our Trizact pad on here. I think this is like 3,000 grit. Yeah. All right. 
Now we're going to get serious. First, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way because once I start slinging this, and especially when we get to the wax, I don't want all the stuff that I just polished and set there uh, to get all smattered. So give me a sec. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. I'll be right back. All right, that's better. So we are going to wet this down. Same thing with this bad boy. And uh, what the instruction says is we're looking for a slurry. So we're looking for the, uh, it's almost like a white pasty uh, film that comes up because of uh, you're just, you're waxing off a very, very, it's polishing really. You're just taking off a very, very slim amount of the surface to get to that polished area. So let's see, see if I can get this in a position where you can see. Forgive the noise. What I want to do is keep buffing at it until some of these, some of these swirl marks and buff marks come out. So, back to it. All right. Yes. All right, I think we're ready to move on the wax. So now, let's get this wiped over here. Looks like, grab a microfiber here. See how my handiwork is looking. Huh? Yeah. Oh, we're almost there. We are almost there. A little bit more. I'm going to go over probably another two passes. Yeah, and no lettering, not even a hint of it. I like that. It's little stuff like that that really makes me happy. I love nothing more than altering a vehicle just enough that your average person's never going to know, right? It's that... Uh, it's the guy with the discerning eye, the expert, the one who knows the car inside and out that looks at it and says, oh, look at that. I see what you did there. That's pretty cool. That's the guy I'm doing this for. Well, honestly, the guy I'm doing it for, this guy, I'm doing it for me because this is the kind of stuff that makes me happy. I love messing with stuff and making it different, better, whatever you want to call it. Now, I'm selling these, but this is my test bed because I am going to do this to mine, to the 8183s. I'm going to do the same thing. It's got some writing down the side, I think. Oh, that's going to go. It's going to be smooth. Oh. If I buff this anymore, I'm not going to want to sell them. Oh, sweet mercy, look at that. That is looking nice. 
Look at that. You can see the picture on the wall. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do, I see one little tiny haze mark like right here. So I'll do, that might actually be moisture from my thumbprint. Oh, I'm gonna do one more buff. Yeah, that might have been a little spot. And I'll probably address. Oh. <laughs> How bad is it when you're getting excited about polishing plastic? Oh, all right. I am going to do one more buff. Uh, oh, all right. I think I'm done. Well, I've done all the machine buffing. I am going to put a hand buff on it just to give it that last little bit of something. Oh. Look at that. I don't care who you are. Look at that. See the pictures on the wall? There it is. Yeah. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, let's do it before and after. So this is what they look like prior to the buffing. See, it's just aged, worn. It's got a couple of spots in the plastic where something's kind of embedded itself in there. I had the same thing on this one and then this one right next to it. What did this cost me? It cost me the price of the headline restoration kit that I bought for another project. So technically, uh, has it cost me anything but time, right? I, had, I already had the Mother's Mag aluminum polish. I already had the 3M headlight restoration kit. I think maybe the whole restoration kit was like 20 or 30 bucks. Um, get a thing of Mother's Mag aluminum polish was at 10 bucks. 40, let's say $50 complete for everything. Let's just say, put everything together. No more than 50 bucks. And I guarantee you, I have done quite a bit to help the sale of these once they get ready to be sold. Just, oh, I can't wait till I put everything back together with that new polished chrome. And this, mm, okay. So, see me do this one. I'm not gonna show you this one. This is just the same thing, just like that. So I will come back when it's time for assembly. So now that I've finished the other one, that, that is a beauty. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get this thing put back together. So we'll get our shield. If I remember right, the front kind of falls in place first. Yeah. Beauty. All right, let's get our little speed nuts out here. Don't go away from me. This is very satisfying, I have to admit. Again, half rod, if you happen to be listening, or if you know half rod, uh, tell him, Hutch says thank you. Thank you, brother, because I did not think to use aluminum polish on this plastic chrome and get this kind of result. I would have never tried. Had it not been for him saying do it, it works, I would have been would have been dealing with it the way it was and just living with it. Uh, let's get it pretty. That, it's not perfect, right? You can see there's some of the chrome right there. It's starting to bubble up on the plastic a little bit. There's nothing I can do about that. It's not like you're going to be able to sand through that, make it go away. 
It's just there. Only way you're going to do that is if you send the plastic out, strip it, and re-chrome it. But daggone it, if you had to put that on your car, I could do that. That is a beauty. So, here's what's going to happen now. Oh, here's the other side. So now that they're done, I am going to sell them because I've got to recoup some of the cost from buying the 8183s. Uh oh. I was doing this at the beginning of the video. Look at this. Oh, man, these look so good. <laughs> I almost want to wrap these up and keep them. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it. I got, I'm not going to do it. These have got to go. I've got to make some of that money back from what I spent. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you buff up chrome plastic and plastic tail lights and turn them into something beautiful. So they went from, eh, they're okay, to, ooh, I like to have those on my car. So that's the plan anyway. That's my hope. So like I said, they're going on G-Body Forum first. Uh, I'd rather sell them to a member. Um, same thing when I bought the, the tail lights. The, the 81 83s, I'd rather put the money uh, that those cost into a member's pocket than some stranger. Um, so it's the same thing. I would rather sell these to a member where I know they're going to go on a project that I'm probably going to see the outcome of uh, and say, hey, you know what? Those are the tail lights I sold that to. And then look at them now. Or lady, whoever happens to buy them, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, I'm rambling now. That's it. They're polished up, they're ready to go. Next thing you know, they're going to be online and on sale. I'm hoping that a member buys them, because uh, I would rather sell to a member than to a stranger on eBay. But uh, no one wants them there. They're going on flea bay until somebody picks them up. Well, that's it. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. I learned something, because until I saw a half rod saying that you could polish plastic chrome, I would have never thought to even try. Uh, I just pretty much thought, well, you, you wash it with warm water and however it looks is however it looks, but you saw the difference that uh, that polish made. Holy, holy cow. Um, I, was, I was impressed. I was very impressed. And man, they look so much better now. So, um, again, appreciate you being here. Somewhere down there is a subscribe button. Hit the bell. Give me a like. Make a comment. You know what? I would love some comments on this. Um, if somebody in the forum doesn't want it, maybe somebody here, one of my subscribers or somebody, leave something in the comments. Say, hey, um, I might like to have those. So who knows? We'll work something out. But um, they got to sell, and I'd rather sell to someone that I know is going to use them and I know what the outcome's going to be on them, so I, that'd be great. Anyway, like I said, comments, subscribe, hit the bell, like, all the things. You know what to do. Uh, my t-shirt shop, if you find something you like, uh, take a browse there real quick. Uh, the funds from selling shirts, I get a small percentage of that. It goes right back into the build. So enough people buy t-shirts, maybe I buy a camshaft or uh, who knows. It's the plan. All right. Again, appreciate you being here. Have a good time, everybody. See you later.